Hey everybody, this is Kay Rider Geek Nation News, and this week we're going to do another comic book talk review, so let's get started. Henshin! everybody, so this week we're going to be doing another Marvel Legends uh, figure wave, and this is from Captain America Civil War. This is the Black Panther, and this is a figure I've been wanting to get for the longest time. So, uh, pretty much, oh, I love this figure. And then right there you see Black Panther, and then you see Giant Man, and this is the Marvel, uh, this is Giant Man Wave, and pretty much, let's open this baby up. And the first, uh, let's see the accessories that it comes with, and that's the head of Black Panther, and that's the King of Samunda. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna give him a 5 o'clock shadow, because in the movie he had that, so I'm gonna weather him a little bit and give him that kind of 5 o'clock shadow to make it more TV, movie, actually, movie accurate. And the second accessory that comes is, is the part of the lake for Giant Man, and this is something I really want to get, and I hope I do find them in the future, so I can have a display with my other figures. Alright guys, I want to give you guys a close up of the body, how it looks, before we get into uh, testing the articulation and really giving a good look at the face. So scope wise, uh, like I said, this figure really came out really awesome. They, uh, whoever sculpted him, whoever designed him, did a really good job. It's just a really uh, beautiful, very, uh, very awesome looking figure. The way they captured him, and they did a really good job at it. Um, you guys can see how how much of the sculpting and edges of the lines of the suit. You can tell how much work went into this figure. It's just a very awesome figure. work in this figure is just really awesome all right so now let's test the articulation so first let's test his arm articulation in this figure is really awesome so pretty much as you can see you can turn him pretty much all the way around his arms a little uh i think because the way that he's a little bulky so this struggle a little bit it also could be because of the way he was sculpted um but you could turn him all 60 around he does have a little kind of center so you can turn his his hand to the sides pretty much all the way around too as well uh, he does his arm does bend and his hand actually does turn around and also move back and forth i love that they added that they added that because he has to pose like he's black and scratch people okay so his stomach his it does bend back and forth it has a clunky noise i love that so it has grip uh his sides do turn all the way around i love that um his legs do go pretty pretty high up i love that that they added that um his his legs do bend pretty good. His, they also have a joint there, so you can turn it right around 360. Uh, he does have ankle privilege. Awesome! I love that he added ankle privilege on this figure. He definitely that's a good job. And I yeah, love love it. Look at that. So pretty much when it came to the articulation, this figure is pretty awesome. They really did a heck of a job and really tried to make him really articulate it and somehow go with the whole figure itself, the scope wise. So they really did a good job when it came to this figure. I really do like this figure. Oh my God, it's one of my top 10. Hey right, guys, so I want you guys to give a better look at the face when it came to the scoping of this. This, the, the, this such a beautiful figure. The, when it came to scoping wise, look at, just look at the little edges of the lines just to show you how much scope and work went to this figure and really appreciate it. This figure, it's so like, it's just, let me give you a sample. His nose actually has little tiny lines, holes kind of like he can, it's like nostrils, he can breathe. That's how much detail they add in this figure. It's really beautiful. Uh, they, they really did a heck of a job. There's actually an SH version figure of this version. And honestly, I prefer this one compared to the SH one figure. It's because it's such a good figure that, you know, I know the SH probably has more, um, better joints but other honestly when it came to scope wise this figure came out way better than the sh figure came, when it came to the scoping of it it's just really beautiful oh right guys that's the end of our video so uh pretty much this is a must-have figure uh articulation uh detail work on scoping this figure it is just one of those figures you must get definitely must get if you're a big uh, black Panther fan or you're just a fan of the marvel it's just a really beautiful sculpted figure that he did uh at the time when this figure really came out it was such a hot toy but since the movie came out you know, i think like a year or two ago so the toy's kind of old now it's going for a decent price online now it goes for 20 or under or 25 now i got lucky and i got mine for 13 dollars at this store and where i live in downtown so I'm happy I got it for that prize, but if, if I sign for 20, I'll definitely get it. Oh, I hope you enjoyed my video. This is Mr. Bushido signing out at K Rider Geek Nation News. We'll be the latest to your comment writers, super set that anime, and comic book story, and also K Rider Geek Nation News.